Okay, today I wanted to do a video on like gears. So I've tried these out, I printed these ones out, I put a little video and they work pretty well and it's actually pretty simple to do. You don't have to do them this kind of shape but I'll just show how I did because I mean you could just do them square or you do them however you like. I just, this image here, right clicked it right out of Google and said copy image. Went to Lightburn, pressed Control and V, or go to Edit and Paste, and then uh, left click on it so you highlight it. Right click and trace image. I only want this tooth, so I'm going to just drag a little box around here, just so I don't have to mess with all the rest of the stuff. Just move it around a little bit, just to make sure it's on there good. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to take that. Uh, ungroup it. I'm going to delete these out the middle. Then go to the node editing tool and I'm going to press the letter B on that node there and then come the other side press the letter B on that node. So now I've got it broken away. I'm going to delete this inside half. I'm going to get the pen and draw straight across the out get the node editing tool one more time just connect these up so now this is one piece if you don't do that it makes it hard to cut the tooth but well, I'll show you but it makes it hard so now I'm going to drag out my circle that I want the gear on I'm going to select this gear tooth and du uh, I'm going to make it a bit smaller I'm going to duplicate it just a few times control and D just so I've got a few because you'll see why in a second so this top one wants to be right in the top of the center so really the best way to tell is to line it up and click and click the circle and then up the top here align vertical centers so now you know that's right in the center it's actually a little bit tilted by the look of it uh, I'm just going to go with it there Okay, so that top tooth there, I'm going to get one of these duplicates, bring it over, I'm going to spin it around, and put it about here, just so it's, you know, pretty close. So I'm going to select the top one, select the circle, it has to be done in that order, go to the circle array tool, and now it's going to ask you how many copies you want, so... I'm going to keep going with the copies until these are pretty close like that <coughs> so now I'm going to say OK there this top one I'm going to rotate it a little bit just so you can see as you can see that's going to fit in there pretty good so I move that out of the way and what you do now is go over the whole lot and then weld it and now you've got that gear and if you want a smaller one now to go with this you can just drag out another circle you've got to keep the tooth size the same as I twisted this one a little bit I'm just going to line this one up with it because it should have come in straight but it didn't so but that should be good there so same with that one, I'm going to put it right there at the top, select your tooth and select the circle, go to the circle array tool and now turn these copies down or up until you've got a good space in between there. I should have zoomed in a bit more there but actually that looks good. So now what I'm going to do is, oh not that one, I'm going to weld them together like the other one. And now you'll see if I put these, because you can even test these gears a little bit here to make sure they're going to fit. So I'm going to put this to where it fits. You can see that's missed there and missed there. So I'm going to turn this one around a bit and then turn this one around a bit it should get to a point where they miss again which is there so you know that misses so I'm going to carry on turning that a little bit more and turn this one a little bit more 
yeah you can see they're going to clear each other and then all you have to do is make your center circle and control and click uh, shift and click I'll make sure you're on the select tool shift and click the one of the circles and then click the center button up the top here the target align vertical and horizontal centers and there you can see that's right in the middle of there and then you can just control and D to duplicate that press shift again on this one and center it over there so now you've got both your gears all you have to make sure is that you select your tooth first and the circle after so I'll just quickly show you if I've got the circle selected and then I select the tooth and I go to the circle array tool you're going to get a pretty cool pattern but <laughs> not what you want so yep I'm going to go to the video now So thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll put out another video as soon as possible.
Yeah, you can see that, it worked fine. It runs quite smooth. Yeah, it runs pretty smooth. It's easy to turn. So, this is, I'm going to start with this and see what I can get going. Yeah, definitely be doing some more stuff with gears, so that's a start. And they're quite tough. The other one that I'll cut here, I was hoping it would go this way because I've done the same spacing but you can see it's not wide enough but I mean you could easily space these a little bit further apart it would be correct I just wanted to see if I could get one to fit in that way but yeah, the spacing it just needs to work out the spacing I don't know much about gears so it's learning for me as well so yeah, very simple at least to, you know, make a simple one. 